guys, welcome back to my channel. I know Valentine's Day is right around the corner, so I decided to bring you a sultry and sexy smoky eye that's going to be perfect for any Valentine's Day event that you have. I used mostly the brand new Tartlet in Bloom palette for this and one other product for the lid, so make sure you stay tuned and see how I created this look. Alright guys, let's get started with the tutorial. So I'm going to go in with my Laura Mercier eyeshadow primer in the color Wheat. I love this product because it just evens out the eyelid and gives a perfect base for any eyeshadow and really makes those shadows pop. I'm going to grab that brand new Tartlet in Bloom palette. I'm going to go in with my MAC Fluffy Blender in the color Sweetheart. It's like a really soft mauve pink. It's the perfect transition shade, especially if you have more fair skin like Anna does, because that's not going to really darken up the crease, it's just going to give some slight definition. Now with that same fluffy blender, I'm going to go into the crease with the color Rebel. I love this color, it's one of my favorite shades in this palette because it works on all skin tones, especially Anna since she is a little bit more light. It just adds the perfect amount of warmth to the whole eye look and it didn't darken up her crease too much and it just creates the perfect transition shade. So now I'm going to go in with my MAC 209 pencil brush and the color Leader and I'm going to start to define and smoke out her crease. So now I'm going to start to work that color into the crease. As you can see I always have my models keep their eye open for this part. I find that it's pretty tricky to find everyone's crease. Everyone has different eye shapes and for me, this is one of my pro tips to really help you find your crease. Look in the mirror straight ahead with your eye open and just trace an outline of where that natural fold is and you'll get it right every time. This is also a great tip if you have more of a smaller eye or a hooded eye because you can also fake that crease and take that shadow a little bit higher and give yourself the illusion of having a bigger eye. So definitely try this out at home. Now I'm just building that color and just really gradually smoking out that crease until I find that it has the perfect amount of smokiness. But again, do this at your own pace and really determine what works for you. For this look, I was going for a soft, smoky crease. Now I'm going to grab my Anastasia Shadow Couture palette and the color Pink Champagne using my Sephora Pro number 15 shader. Now in a pressing and tapping motion, I'm going to build that color onto her eyelid. As you can see, the payoff is really nice by itself, but I'm going to take it to the next level and intensify it with my Makeup Forever Mist and Fix. And immediately you can see that that made a huge difference. So when you're going for a glam look, definitely wet that shadow first. Now I'm just going to go in with some Lena lashes in the style Jackie. I'm going to do this part off camera just to keep the video short, so stay tuned. And bam, just like that, they're on there and they really help to complete this whole look. Now I'm going to start to smoke out her lower lash line. I'm going to grab my NARS Precision Blender in the color Sweetheart. And I'm going to start to work that into her lower lash line. As you can see, I just do zigzag wiggling motions to build that color. Sweetheart is a really soft pink mauve, so it's not going to build too much. It's just going to create the perfect transition for the rest of the colors we're about to use next. Now with that same brush, I'm going to go in with the color Rebel. And I'm just going to layer that color right on top of Sweetheart, starting from the outer corner and working my way into the tear duct. These two colors blend together so beautifully, it's definitely the perfect transition shade for a smoky look. Now to add some smokiness, I'm going to go in with my MAC Pencil Brush and the color Leader. I know this part can be a little bit scary or intimidating because we've all been there where we try to add some smokiness to the lower lash line and it just ends up looking like you got punched at the club and it doesn't look cute. So my tip is to work that into your lower lashes and use your eyelashes to guide you. So literally just wiggle that eyeshadow in between your lashes and you'll see you don't get a harsh or heavy dramatic smoky effect you get a really precise soft smoky look now it's eyeliner time so i'm just going to use my makeup forever artist liner in the color black just to fill in her waterline this is one of my go-to products for eyeliner 
Now to make sure that everything looks nice and blended, I'm going to go in with Rebel one more time and I'm just going to blend all those colors together to get that perfectly diffused look. Now with my Chanel number 14, I'm going to go ahead and grab that color Activist to add a little bit more smokiness to her lower lash line. This is hands down one of my favorite brushes in my collection. I don't have anything like this and I still haven't found a brush that is as tiny as this one. It's perfect for adding just a little bit of a smokiness because it doesn't pick up too much product. Now I'm just going to go in with some eyeliner. I'm going to use Kat Von D's Trooper. I'm going to use this just to conceal her lash band and to add just a little bit of liner to this look. I'm going to keep the line thin because I want to have all that focus on the lid in that beautiful champagne color. I'm going to use that same color that we used on the eyelid as an inner corner highlight. I just love the tone of pink champagne. I think it has a really beautiful metallic finish and it definitely works as an inner corner highlight as well. I'm going to use it with mist and fix as usual just to get that color to really pop. Now to finish up the eyes, I'm going to go in with the color Activist and that's Chanel number 20. And I'm just going to work that into her outer V. I've had a lot of clients who struggle with this part, so that's why I decided to do it in slow-mo, just to show you how I do it. I just literally draw a V on the outer corner and keep just blending it and blending it until it has that really pretty, soft, smoky effect. The outer V is literally just drawing a V on the outer corner of your eye, so try not to overthink it and try switching it up and using more of a precise brush like the one that I am because it definitely makes the job a lot easier. And that's it. Now the eyes are complete. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really hope that you all enjoyed it. Make sure to let me know what you think in the comment box below. Also make sure to check out the description box for all the products used. And last but not least, I hope that you all have a wonderful Valentine's Day. I hope that you all enjoy yourselves and have great dates. And for my single ladies, don't stress, just recreate this look at home and by the end of the night you might have a date or at least you'll get a drink out of someone. It's a very sexy and sultry Valentine's Day look. And as always, comment, like, and subscribe and enjoy.